Welcome to Thrifty Garage. Tonight I'm going to do another episode in my landscaping contractor series. Okay, we've got to start on the flow meter and master valve install. I've got all my stuff set up here. I had our local scout group come over and taught them about irrigation tonight as well as uh, had them get started on this and learn a little more about irrigation. This is where we're at. Going to go ahead and continue digging this out and probably work into the dark tonight putting in this master valve and flow meter. Okay, I've got this line exposed here. I've got that manual shutoff valve there. Uh, that's my main control valve. And I've got a, a union here or a, a coupler, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Uh. Okay, some water in there. Nice thing about poly is that your pipes don't have to be really that clean at all. Only real connection surface on the inside, but. It's always nice to work with clean pipe. PVC on the other hand, you've got to make sure it's clean and dry so your glue has good adhesion. Okay, here we go. Let me go ahead and Teflon these up. Go double check and make sure this fits. Okay, it should be good. How did I do that wrong? Well, let's start over here. Okay, I've got all these done. I've got the master valve ready to go in. Got the flow sensor ready to go in. And we need 12 inches on both sides. And this is a long unit, so we'll see what we can do. Nice thing about this unit is I can get both of these set up and this will be the last thing I put in. These unions unscrew and I can pull this back and those can literally be just dropped right in so I can take the flow meter out make my connections on both sides and then drop this in and install that should be pretty pretty nice okay so I'm out here I've got the master valve installed got the flow meter installed got the existing one there so I reread the instructions it said 12 inches with no 90s. It didn't specify any other obstructions, so I made sure this one right here uh, is 12 inches long. This one's a little bit shorter, but uh, this gate valve will be normally open, and if that's always open, uh, that shouldn't restrict flow very much, but this valve will restrict flow. So, we've got this meter in here. Let's go ahead and fire this up. Okay, so turn this back off. I'll turn off. Okay, now I'm going to set up these boxes. I've got a box here. I've got some bricks. And I'm going to measure how deep down this is so I can know how many bricks to put on the bottom. inches it's 
go it's down an inch more we'll do 17. okay we've got some bricks placed down here we've got two high we're at about 12 13 inches and we've got about 13 inches there should be perfect i need to split one of these blocks i couldn't find my chisel but this should work a little bit unconventional but should do the job I need to put this piece right here. I need to make a little more room for it. Perfect. Okay, we've got that second row in. Now we've just got one more to go. Okay, I've got this box set in place. We got three rows in there. I need to tape up these. And then I'll fill the bottom with gravel and backfill with dirt. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting in uh, my trench my wire so I'm going as deep as I can with that spade and this has a flat nose on it makes for nice trench and wires the sod shovel makes it nice to remove sod as well okay I've got my wire in here make sure I got enough room I'm gonna start tucking this okay I've got that all buried just gonna go pack this in be good to go okay tonight I'm gonna to wire up the flow meter um, right there it's got a caution hunter strongly recommends that all flow meter connections are soldered and sealed here I've got my wires and I've got what we call grease caps so you put uh, the wires in the wire nut and then the wire nut in this tube which has is filled full of grease I pulled two wires out for this valve, for the master valve, and then I put the rest of them inside there to go into that box. Okay, I decided to go a little bit deeper on this one, put the gravel down, then I'm going to put the bricks on top of the gravel, go ahead and measure down our 17 inches, and start putting our bricks in. Okay, better wire this up before this gets dark. So we've got the two wires for this box, so I'm going to put these about the same, same length here. I'm going to cut those. I'm going to crimp these. It's important to make sure you line up the tips rather than the insulation uh, so that they go on the end of that wire nut together. I'm sorry, the lighting is getting poor. Okay, I generally I'll take these and, and kind of run them together and I'll use that excess wire I pulled off. So I'll loop it like that, go three or four inches. This single strand wire makes for great wraps. Nice and clean. If I ever have to remove it, it's easy to remove. Another one on the opposite side. Okay, that's all there is to it. Okay, there's that box, how that looks. Wire's all nice in there, gravel in the bottom. Okay, so this sensor has this little protector on it. Keeps the wires from getting kinked. I just screwed that in. It didn't come screwed in. Um, out the other end of that, we've got three wires. We've got a red, white, and a blue. And according to the instructions, white goes to common, blue goes to sensor one, comma, two. So I'm assuming it can go to either one, and then red is not used. So because I'm already using the common wire for the master valve, I'm going to do just red and blue. It's easy to remember. Um, and I'm going to do red to the common and uh, blue to the blue. Let's, let's see how well this wired up works. I'm, this is not grabbing very well. What I might have to do, these are kind of small wires, I might need to go get the smaller black nut. I'm going to get those other wire nuts. Okay, I found some 
tiny, tiny wire nuts. Okay, that one should work. Well, there you go. Here's the first box. Second box. Wire ran the other night. I just now ran this wire underneath the mulch. So here I've got this wire pulled up through this conduit. And now I need to push it through into the garage. Okay, I've got this all wired up. I added a new common wire, new white one here. I added the, right here it says MV, master valve, the yellow wire to that new valve. And then up top here, I've got these two wires. I've got the sensor common. Remember, I connected that red to the white. So that's the common wire. And then I've got the sensor, the blue on sensor one. Okay, let's open up the HydroWise app. Uh, more sensors. Got our sensor to controller. Enter the sensor name. Let's do flow meter. Flow meter with one inch coupling. Next, controller for home, controller input, sensor one, done. Next, rotor, north, rotor, side, back, west, back, and raise back. And eventually I need to add a new zone so that when I use my hose bibs to water my garden or spot water my lawn, I'll hit OK. Dashboard, north front rotor, run, run now. Okay, as you can see, that zone is running. Okay, well that took a little bit of time to, to figure out. It wasn't too difficult, um, you know, less than five minutes to figure that out and get that rolling. So that'll now be monitoring my usage and if it uh, spikes after the last watering cycle, it will notify me. Okay, I don't have sprinklers in all of my yard. So I've got this hose bib set up with this head on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on, the master valve should have this zone turned off. So now I've got that turned on, I can go in here and turn on this hose bib. Run. Normal length is an hour. Run now. So now that'll run for an hour and all I have to do is remember to come turn it off. Otherwise next time one of my other zones water, this will trigger a high flow.